What's up, Broncos country? Another week means another SIDS vids. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm team reporter Sydney Jones. I'm here at Empower Field at Mile High as the Broncos are set to host the Cincinnati Bengals. Both teams are seven and six heading into today's game with the winner taking a massive step forward in the playoff hunt. We are roughly three hours from kickoff, so players and coaches are starting to arrive and then they're gonna hit the field for some pregame warmups. One play at a time, man. Bring the energy. Hey, grind on three. One, two, three. Grind. Grind. Burrow under center takes the snap. Boots and is going to be hit by Justin Simmons. And the sack all the way back to the 21 yard line. Drew takes the snap. Looks right. Throws the ball up for grabs. It is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Tim Patrick. Went up for a 50-50 ball, and when he came down, it was 100% Denver's. First off, um, you know, I'm happy to hear that Teddy's all right. I think everyone in that locker room is happy to hear that Teddy's all right, and we'll be looking forward to the next time um, we get to see him. But, you know, this being the, the third time, you know, I feel like I was, you know, I'm ready to go out there. Um, you know, I think I'm going to look at this film, and there's going to be a couple plays I want back, like, there is in every single football game. Um, but I think we also did some good things when we were out there. My number one thing is just got to be taking care of the football. I mean, one thing I know about the group is nobody's going to put their head down and fold and point fingers and, and none of that. Um, I mean, we're fortunate enough to play in this league and we're, you know, we need to win. That's what it comes down to. Um, no one's satisfied you know, by any stretch of the imagination that we're playing in meaningful games in December. I mean, we want to win just as bad as everyone wants us to win. We want to win more. Outside the Broncos locker room here with Albert Okawebenom. Albert, when you have a teammate and a leader like Teddy Bridgewater go down in the way he did, how does the offense, you know, continue on through the game? And do, do you guys play harder for him? Yeah, you know, it's really tough. You know, a guy like Teddy goes down, really anybody. But, um, you know, with the amount of um, leadership he has in our team, it really impacted us. But definitely, you know, give us an incentive to go harder and, you know, um, you know, try to pull off the dub for him. Unfortunately, that didn't happen tonight. Right. Seemed like the offense couldn't really get going until, you know, late in the third quarter. What wasn't working? You know, why couldn't you guys get in that rhythm? You know, just really just shooting ourselves in the foot. You know, we had we had a turnover in the red zone. You know, some penalties. You know, to start the drive. I feel like that's really that's really what hurt us. You know, the most today. You know, of course we had some misplays, some missed executions, but I think that that one thing in particular is one thing that if we would have changed, we would have won this game. The road ahead gets a little tougher for you guys now to reach the postseason. What do you want to see this team do within the final three games, you know, going up against division opponents? Well, you know, really, really just, you know, try to stack, um, you know, all the, all the wins ahead of us, you know, win out. And, um, you know, we, we still have a shot at making the playoffs, you know. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we couldn't get these uh, these last four games, you know, to secure us a spot. But, you know, there's still that possibility. So try to, try, try to win the rest of these games and, you know, see, see where we land.